Smart Rudder BIOS is part of the Garmin Autonomy family of safety-enhancing technologies. This feature addresses a well-known hazard in the operation of twin-engine aircraft, loss of power in one engine. In a safety alert issued by the National Transportation Safety Board, they point out that having a multi-engine rating alone may not be enough to avoid the risk of loss of aircraft control with one engine inoperative, or OEI, especially if an engine failure occurs during a critical phase of flight. The loss of one engine creates a 50% reduction in thrust, but this can reduce climb performance by 80 to 90% and creates asymmetrical thrust. Ensuring the correct control inputs are made is necessary to avoid loss of control in flight and to bring about a successful completion to the flight. Smart Rudder Bias performs by constantly monitoring engine indications and when a power differential exceeds a predefined threshold, automatic multi-axis control inputs are made to help the pilot manage this adverse situation. Rudder force is applied to aid the pilot in controlling the yaw tendency produced by the one engine inoperative condition. The force applied will be proportional to the thrust differential sensed by the system. If the bank angle exceeds preset limits because of the roll tendency, the single engine operation mode of the Electronic Stability and Protection System, or ESP, provides input for roll control. It also provides input to the elevator control to assist the pilot in maintaining an adequate VMC margin. Note that when ESP is activated along with smart rudder bias, the bank angle and low speed thresholds are different than those used with standard ESP. When the system activates, you'll see a yellow enunciation on your primary flight display to inform you which engine has experienced the power loss. The enunciation will appear on the left or right side of the PFD depending upon which engine has experienced the power loss. A green RB enunciation will flash for 5 seconds, and then appear as solid green in the AFCS status box. On the mode controller, you'll see an indication that reads RB active. Note that while Smart Rudder Bias is actively monitoring for a power differential, whether hand flying or with the autopilot engaged, you would need to disengage the autopilot once Smart Rudder Bias engages. See your Airplane Flight Manual supplement to ensure your understanding of this procedure. Pilots need to understand that the Smart Rudder Bias forces are working to aid them in managing a one-engine inoperative condition and must avoid attempts to counter the automatic control inputs. Any pilot input on a control that is counter to the forces applied by Smart Rudder Bias will cause the automatic forces to increase and if the pilot then releases the control input, excessive servo forces may cause an undesired aircraft state to occur. Just as with any autopilot interaction, if the autopilot seems to be doing something that isn't desired, do not attempt to overpower it. Simply disengage the automation. A dedicated panel-mounted switch provides for disabling smart rudder bias, and as with all autopilot functions, you can disengage the servos by pressing and holding the AP Disconnect button. Holding this button down for a minimum of 5 seconds will disable ESP and Smart Rudder Bias. However, you should hold the button down until you feel the automatic forces diminish and you see RB Off appear on the PFD and the Autopilot Mode Controller. You also want to ensure that the switch is in the off position before attempting a landing. While it would most likely not be necessary, in the event of undesired servo actuation, airframe manufacturers provide a circuit breaker that can be pulled to deactivate the servos. Manufacturers differ in their design of circuit panel layout, so it's important for you to be familiar with this procedure, found in the pilot's operating handbook for the aircraft you fly. If you have smart rudder bias installed in your aircraft, it's critical for you to understand how the system will respond to an engine power loss. You must remember that the system is there to provide appropriate and proportionate control inputs in the event the system has sensed a power loss from one engine, and that you should not attempt to overpower the control inputs. It's also critical for you to know how the system can be disengaged or deactivated if necessary. Smart Rudder Bias monitors engine sensor data to detect power differentials that exceed preset limits. It is possible for a failed engine sensor to provide invalid data that could activate smart rudder bias. 
It's armed in the background and will activate whether hand flying or with the autopilot engaged. You'll see enunciations identifying the engine that has experienced the power loss and that the system has engaged. Rudder, aileron, and elevator forces may be applied to help you manage the one engine inoperative condition. You should not attempt to overcome the automatic control inputs. You should know how to disengage or deactivate the system if needed. Thank you for investing your time in learning more about Garmin Smart Rudder Bias, and thanks for flying Garmin.